there. My name is Jane Fawcett, and I'm the head of support here at Aplos Software. I just wanted to take a couple minutes to go over the process of creating an online donation form and uh, what that looks like when you start receiving online donations. So first off, um, we're going to click into donor management, click fundraising. You'll see your option for online forms, recurring donations, and online donations. So I'm actually going to start with purposes. Um, purposes are what we use to track donations in Aplos. So you can create a purpose for different fundraisers or for different ways that your donors can donate. So you can create a new purpose here, put in a name. If you choose an income account and fund, this allows you to track that donation in accounting. So it makes it real easy for you. Um, and then you can also enter a custom tag uh, to track and accounting as well. So you'll see I've got a few purposes here. These are all linked to accounting. You've got that blue chain link. Uh, the in-kind or non-cash donations are not linked to accounting, which is fine. Um, these are uh, donations that don't affect my overall accounting, so I don't need to track them there in accounting. So from there, we'll go to online forms. So here's a list of the online forms that I already have. One's disabled, so you can disable any of these. These are all active. Um, so uh, things will look a little bit different if you are landing in the online forms page for the first time. We'll prompt you through a little startup wizard to start the process of creating uh, your WePay account. So we use WePay to process donations. Um, for nonprofits, that transaction rate is 3% plus 30 cents for credit card donations, 2% plus 30 cents for ACH donations, and 4.1% plus 30 cents for any American Express or credit cards with an international billing address. So um, we verify your nonprofit status and then ask WePay to lower that to the nonprofit rate. So we'll just need your EIN in order to uh, lower that for you. Um, and then you'll start processing at the um, transaction rate I just noted. So in order to create a new form, you can click this create new button. This will take you to the form builder where, where you will enter your uh, form name. So I'm going to just say new form. You can add a URL. So this URL, what you enter here will be the text after all of this. So I'm going to say new form, whoops, new, I meant new form. So here's my form URL. Oh, I already have that. So obviously you can't use the same form <laughs> extension there. So new donation form. So here is the um, URL for my online donation form. So now you can choose your color. We have some color templates here available. So you'll just scroll to find whichever uh, color template you want and click apply. So I'm going to go with this template. You can also enter um, or choose this option to enter the different colors and um, make a uh, custom make custom colors for your donation page. So you can do that by clicking create new style. So moving on to logo and main image here, you can add a logo here. You can add a main image. So I'm going to choose from my library. I'm going to choose this logo and click confirm. So here's my logo. I can say, um, a form URL. I'm sorry, a form headline, please donate for our mission trip. So let's say I'm a church and raising donations for individuals to go on a mission trip, or um, maybe you are creating a form for a fundraiser you're doing. You can say, please donate for our fundraiser. Anything can go here. This is basically your headline. So then you can choose a main image here and enter a custom message here. So um, thank you for your donation. We are using them to better our community. So you can put that information here and add a main image here. I only have logos in my file box, so I'm going to leave that blank for now.
So now moving on to donor information. So that's this section here. It's basically what information you're gathering from your donor. First, last name and email address are required. When a donation processes, we automatically add it into Aplos for you. So if this is the first time that your donor is donating, we'll create a contact for them based on what they enter here. You can also add more information. So these would be adding custom fields that you've created, and then you can add a full address. So that might be nice if you have a mailer and you want to gather that information. Uh, you can do that here. You can make it required by clicking this box. So you'll see the asterisks here. So the uh, donor will have to fill out this information before moving on to the next step. Now for the donation section. So you'll have some quick buttons here where the donor can just click on this, bu on this button um, to automatically donate $15, $30, or $45. You can delete any of these and add different options if you want to. So let's say I want to add 75. And then you can have a custom amount, which is here. Allow donors to enter a custom amount. You'll also uh, be able to give them the option to do a one-time or a recurring donation. So allow one-time payment, allow recurring payment. If they donate one time, it'll process as soon as they click the donate button on the second page. We'll get there in just a second. If they select a recurring date, they can choose monthly or weekly. And then if it's weekly, they'll choose the day of the week. If it's monthly, they'll choose the day of the month. If they do a monthly recurring donation for the first of the month, let's say they're creating this recurring donation on the 25th of the month, that won't process until the first of the following month. You'll also have the option to add your purposes in here. So I have a list of all of my purposes here. I can delete any of these. And if I get down to just one purpose, then this section will not show since they don't have to choose anything. So here you're going to have your transaction fee where you can um, allow the donor to pay their transaction fee. So if they're donating $100, um, the amount actually processed will be a little over $100 because it will include the transaction fee. So you'd get the full amount of the donation rather than the amount after the transaction fee. This has to be um, something that the donor opts into, so they'll check the box before they click donate now. Then you have a donor note. You can allow them to leave a note here. You can require it to, if you'd like, by checking this box. And then the donate text button, you can change what's on this um, button here. So if I just want to say maybe next page, you can do that and that'll um, change the text there. So moving on to the next page, this page is um, payment information. So payment options, whether they donate with a credit card or ACH, you have those options here. Donor will fill out the information. It'll show how much they're donating. And then this text, though, will be the same text that you put on the um, button here. So if I want to go back, change it back to donate now. Then go to my next page, and here it is, Donate Now. So once they click Donate Now, as long as information is all verified with their billing, um, they will receive an email. If it's a one-time, it'll say thank you for your donation. If it's a recurring, it'll thank them for setting up their recurring donation. Um, and then once the recurring donation does process, then they will get another email thanking them for their donation. So here's my form. I can now add it to my site to get a button or the URL. I can share it on social media and I can also email it. So let's say you've got donations coming in and you will see your one-time donations here on those online on this online donation option. So this will give a list of all of your one-time donations. Recurring donations, as those start coming in, um, these will show up even before they've processed. So you'll see all of that information. One thing to note is as you have those donations that are starting to list, if they do put a donation note, um, you can delete it 
Um, we have every time a donation processes, the note is applied to it because of how the form is built. So if you want to delete it, that way it won't show up on the contribution statement for every line of the donation and won't show up on those donation reports. With actions, you'll be able to cancel a recurring donation. So if they maybe decide to pay by check or if they want to change their payment method and they set up a new donation to do that, then you can cancel the previous donation. So that is online donations at a high level. We do have a resource in our support center that goes over the process step by step. When you first access the online forms page, you'll go through a wizard that will um, uh, walk you through the process of creating the form. So you'll see that step by step here in this online donations resource that you can find in our support center. From any page in the software, if you click this question mark, it'll pop you over to the um, support center and show you a list of resources that we've created to help you out a little bit. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to our support team by clicking this icon, uh, send in your question, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.